Hey, it's Manny doing a two year review of my teeth by Dr. Mario Montoya. If you watched the last video that I did last year on this day, uh, I discussed my chip tooth. I had a chip right here on my front right tooth and um, it's still been pretty great. There has not been any discoloration or anything. Um, the top of the tooth is still up there. So I still have like half veneer and half regular tooth. Um, I get told by people often that I am lucky because they've had chip veneers and their real tooth is like a completely different color. So, I mean, the fact that my natural tooth is the same color as this bright ass veneer, I have no idea how that happened, but thank God and thank my mom, I guess. I don't know. The ones who saw my review and told Dr. Mario Montoya that my recommendation is what made them come, um, I appreciate that. Please continue to do that. Five hours is how long it takes for the procedure. So when I got there, he cleaned my teeth and then he had to shave up my gums because my gums were all the way down here. And so after doing so, he applies the porcelain, um, which is like a gel. And you know, there we went and it was five hours flat. As you know, Dr. Mario Montoya just did Takashi 69's teeth. Although he isn't everybody's favorite person in the world right now, we have to admit that he did have a nice, bright smile. Um, there has been a lot of jokes about his teeth, um, about them being oversized, just as well as there's been jokes about mine, whatever the case. Please remember also in my review that I said the teeth are like acrylic on nails. So... Whatever you already are offering him, he's just going to put porcelain on top of your natural teeth. So my regular old teeth are under these teeth and they were fairly small. I had small teeth, you know, create me a more adult tooth. So anybody with already big teeth, you know, maybe an overbite, um... There may be other solutions before you make your way to Dr. Mario Montoya because he does not shave down teeth. So if you are coming to him and your teeth are already fairly big, guess what? He's going to add something on top and it's probably going to look a little bigger. So everybody has these jokes like even 21 Savage has in his song these big ass cheap ass veneers, blah, 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 whatever the song says. Um... I don't know, you know, maybe to somebody like Takashi 69 who is well into his millions, but $6,000 is not cheap for your typical American citizen. Also, when it comes to that $6,000, that was two years ago. His brand has expanded and I don't really know how much he's charging these days. I can't tell you that much, but what I can tell you is that he has his own hotel. He makes you feel, feel completely comfortable. Uh, he has his own driver to come get you from the airport. If you do not, I repeat, if you do not speak Spanish, get you a friend that does or try to meet somebody off the plane that speaks both or you need to know it <laughs> because you will get down there and everybody's speaking Spanish and it is not it. So, um... Also, like I say, he had a clinic and his staff, everybody was so great. Um, so, yeah, I highly suggest. I really feel like if you have the money for it after discussing it with him, please go down to Columbia and get your teeth done, period. What I love about my teeth, are, I mean, it's, it's a really beautiful full white smile like Hollywood is so big you can see me from across the room as soon as I flash a smile you know I've just noticed I'm just recognized what I don't love about my teeth is something that my regular teeth has to offer 
So it does not discredit his work. You know, he still did the best of what he could do. But um, I have a little crookedness down at the bottom. Um, sure, if I go back, he'll definitely fix it. Also, I mean, I had this overbite before I went to him. So for the people that just love to, you know, bring up, oh, you still got an overbite. I'm going to have an overbite. My family has overbites. I look like my fucking family. I love my family. Fuck you. So I'm going to keep this overbite if that's okay. Thank you. Dr. Mario Montoya is still in Colombia. He does not visit America to do the procedure. Um, I do believe that there's some type of boundary with what he has to offer. And that's also why it's the price that it's at and it's over there. So therefore, all you half-ass rich people, you know, if you have a problem with the person that did Rich the Kid's Teeth, Safari's, Lyra Galore, and many more people, then, you know, take your ass to an American dentist with all your little stacks or whatever, please do. But for the people that want a Hollywood smile at a more affordable price, then I highly suggest you go to Dr. Mario. In conclusion, you will need a passport. You will need a flight to Miami, I think is the cheapest to get to Colombia. And you will need transportation. I suggest Dr. Mario Matoya's driver. You will need to stay somewhere. I suggest his hotel. There you have it. Again, if you are going to see Dr. Mario Montoya, please let him know that I recommended you. I had nothing but great things to say. Manny Monroe, that's M-A-N-I underscore M-O-N-R-O-E. And that's it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped. Bye.